Hey guys, welcome to a uh, special episode where I'm going to try and explain. That's messed up pretty much right there. Why is it able to go that way? No. There you go. Don't go that way. Go the other way. Okay, but anyway, uh, I had a request from a. Um, one of my subscribers to explain how the new engines work the new electric engines or something and uh, to be honest I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure so I set up this little rig here and uh, let me go I'll just go and show you what I've done I've been sitting here forever trying to figure this out too because it is it, uh, I've just had Loads and loads and loads of shit blowing up. That's basically all that's happened. That's just a fucking... Some sort of poisonous snake trying to eat my face. So. Alright, so... Go down here. And I have my nuclear reactor chamber thingy. And, uh... It's pumping. It's pretty efficient. I mean, it might not be the most efficient design as far as how you should put uranium and cooling cells and all that good stuff in there but it's working for what I need and then I got it running up here to this which is charging the power and then I did have a transformer but that didn't seem to that seemed to shut the power off so let's go through this okay so this is the adjustable electric engine now it can actually convert the EU to MJ which I have no clue what that means but I'm pretty sure that I can't remember if I if I had the little I need to make the let me see the little electric sensor thing or whatever the fuck it's called it'll tell me how much shit's pumping out accelerator teleport tether I don't know what that is it sounds cool though omelet um, elevator track electric laser there's a little thing where you can click on stuff and it will actually show you how much shit is producing or something like that. So let me see, is it one of these remote sensor? Light sensor, 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 sensor. Okay, I, I don't know. Um, but there is there is uh, something, if you go to the uh, Technic Wiki, uh, it, you, you know, it's like a little thing, you click on it, it'll tell you how much it's producing. I think the EU is pumped from one thing and this converts it to MJ which I think is either more powerful or slightly less powerful I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but anyway that's uh this just allows you to adjust things to how you want it like uh, this one you're gonna have to find on the internet because I have no clue how to explain it fast slow and regular okay so let's go over here this is a adjustable one right here I haven't adjusted shit I just let it go and look how fast that thing's moving I mean that thing is traveling and that's just one engine moving that thing and you come over here to the fast this is fast right fast electrical engine why is none of this working alright there alright snake I had to choose the desert to do this in so there's just snakes everywhere. Look if I go up. There's just fucking snakes slithering everywhere. Indiana Jones' is worst nightmare. Alright, so this is just gonna keep fucking around and doing stupid shit. Okay, so. Um. From what I can tell. Maybe. I could be 100% wrong, which I probably am. I think it literally means what it says. Fast means it goes faster. Or maybe it can take more power. Because watch what happens when I try to attach the same energy source that's running those two to our slow electric engine. Here we go. It automatically blows it up. So I think the, the thing is, is it can't take that much power. I think some of them can take different power sources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if, and this is the regular so I don't know if the regular is going to blow up or not either I'm actually ah, yeah okay so the fast and the adjustable can take power sources like like that that's straight 
coming from an M MSFU unit or whatever the hell it is. And it's pumping through here. Maybe those those just can't take that, that sort of power coming into them. I don't know. So let's see if we can make the bad... Let's see if we can make them work. So give me a couple more quarries. Just set them up here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now electric engines. And we need a slow and a regular. So, put that there. The hell, snake? Put that there. And then we need some sort of power source, I'm guessing. So let's just do uh, solar. Do so. Oh, there's a lot of solar shit now. Solar panel. So, I'll do, like, oh, shit. <laughs> Not that many. My bad. All right. So, do, like, this. And another thing, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do these either. How many did I do there? Nine. All right. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Now, I have no clue what's about to happen here. Uh, it could work or it could blow up in my face again so let me see just get some copper here just low voltage cable here okay so far so good now let me get some levers Get all this set up. Okay. That's actually too far out. So, I mean, basically, and I'm not the expert. Uh, there might be somebody with better videos as far as this stuff goes. I don't know. I'm just trying to uh, help out a subscriber who wants to know how to use this stuff, and I want to, you know, I want to learn how to use this stuff. So that's basically what this boils down to: is just trying to figure that, figure this stuff out. That's what I, that's what the whole purpose of me playing Technic and all that is, is to for me to learn and to help you guys figure stuff out as well. So. I be more. I'm more than willing to try and give you know, try and help you guys out, and I'll learn in the process. So I mean, if you want somebody that 100% knows what they're doing, uh, that's not me, babe. So, all right, let's see if this will work. Damn it, man! I don't know how to make these go. I don't know why they won't go. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I can't figure. I can't figure out why I won't. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I just do something smaller as far as an energy supplier goes. Just do a bat box and this is like lowest of the low see and there it goes okay so it's charging up now and I think I'm going to get rid of these bad boys right here and then All right, moment of truth. There we go. So it can't be supplied straight from it. It's got to actually come from that. And that's oh, there we go. Yeah. So that looks about like ex it means exactly what it says, as far as I can tell from just eyeballing this. 
as this is a slow electric engine, so it's going to run things slowly. This is a regular one, which still runs things a bit faster than a normal engine, like or a Redstone or a steam engine. And then these over here just rock the house down, but you need a huge power source to run them, which is, you know, I'm running, I'm running nuclear power, so... And you also have to be better at figuring out how to how to do pipes and stuff like that, because <laughs> I am apparently fucking horrible at that. But then again, I did set this up awfully fast, so cut me a little bit of a break. But see, these just rock. These are just rocking on. Look at these. This guy's already like so far down. Look at that. Look how much further down. See, so and I started that one. I started this one over here first. This one started running first, so that shows you that the adjustable and the fast can run off of huge power sources, such as nuclear power, which is what I have. And um, on these littler, on the re slow and regular, you need something a bit more, uh, I don't know how to put it, something not as much. Which is, a, I've got solar panels going into this box, which is running my engines. So maybe if I turn these bad boys off and let this charge up a little bit. Let's see. See if I can help help this out a little bit. Fill it up with some power. Let's see what happens. Single use battery. See, so just fill it all the way up, I guess. Oh, that'll be good. I'll just fill this all the way up and see if, uh, because it looked like they were draining the power faster than it could produce the power, so that might be why it was running slow. And I want to make sure one way or the other. All right, so we'll leave that battery in there. And let's turn on the slow one first and see what happens. Yeah, see, the slow one just goes slow. So, I mean, it, like, literally lives up to its name. So, and the regular looks like it's actually running a little bit faster than, like, a steam engine one would. But the king of the day, and I'm sure that this adjustable one, you could probably change it to where it would pump out even more. I'm afraid. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's just pump it up. Let's pump this bad boy up. Oh, the engine stopped working. Oh, yeah, there we go. Making you look like a bitch over here. <laughs> look how fast that is cutting through this, though. I mean, that is just rocking it. Oh, my goodness, man. So, I know what I'm going to be doing in my in my Technic world. Is I need to get some electric engines on my machinery. Holy crap, man. Look at that thing go, man. And see, that's the beauty part. You have nuclear power. You can just pump that bitch up. And I think the engine right here is, is actually still running. It's just it's moving so incredibly fast that we can't see it with our with our shitty human eyes maybe I mean it's still running so it's gotta still be going but alright so there you go um, I don't really know how much that helped you out <laughs> but I mean as far as as far as the differences go I think that's it these uh, they're slower and they also cannot take uh, huge ener energy sources you're talking I'm talking solar or wind or something to run these bad boys this one still looks like it's running fast it runs the thing faster than a steam engine and that's on one engine moving it's about as fast as three steam engines would I think I might be wrong about that as well but I mean it, it's running pretty good so I would highly recommend uh, looking into the regular electric because you can run it straight off of well you can't straight off but you can have the solar panels running into a bat box and then run that straight to your electrical engine and it, it, I mean it goes it goes it's not as fast as those over there but 
once again, yeah, this will be for these aren't starting engines. These are these are for engines that are later on, like way later on in your game. Because I mean, you're going to need like nuclear energy to make these things run as fast as you want them to, and better piping skills as well. I don't know why it's it's just so fucking fucked up. Let me see if I can... <laughs> I can fix this piping mistake, I swear. I swear to you guys I can do this. Shit, no. All these snakes are distracting me. Uh, uh. Alright, so here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Do I have this problem licked? Or will it conquer me? That's a lot of pipes. Boom! There we go. So now these machines shouldn't be so crazy fucked up. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there's our there's there it is getting it on. Look at look at this, man. This is insane how far this has gone. And remember, I started this up like uh, did I start it up at the very beginning of the video? I may have started it up right before, but I mean like I started recording right after if not Look at this fucking thing. It's just floating around all being stupid. And I mean, it can't be that much further to bedrock. It doesn't, I don't, I think, I wouldn't think so anyway. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe it is a little bit further to down. It's dark. Oh! Well, there's red, there's the bottom. Boom. But look how far, man. That's crazy. Let's go check our chest now that our piping isn't all looking like it's been done by some sort of mentally impaired monkey or something. And uh, let's go check our nuclear reactor, see how we're doing down here. Lots of power. Lots of power. Lots of power. So... Let's end this with a little bit of a bang. Alright, let's see if we can overload this bad boy. Actually, holy shit, it actually burned the wire. The wire's gone. <laughs> it was just too much. It was too much for it. It blew, it, it melted the glass wire. That's funny. So that's why you need heavily insulated wires, I guess, is when you get this thing pumping out the energy that it's supposed to pump out, it, produ it will melt that shit. I guess I just had lo low voltage going here. I must have did the cooling pretty good. I mean, we got, we got this going pretty good here. Without a meltdown yet. I, want, uh, I think I just threw that away by accident. I want like a sheer noble style explosion where we have to evacuate all Pripyat. There we go. There's all my uranium and everything. So that blew a pretty good sized hole down in here.
But there you go, kitties. That's the danger of nuclear power. So you can run badass engines using a nuclear reactor. Look, these things, they've pumped out so much power, these things are still running. Or this one's not, but this one is. Because it's converting the energy. So that's pretty cool. But there you go. That's, uh, as far as I can tell, that's the main difference. Differences between the engines is some are uh, rated for higher sources of power whereas others are not some need a smaller source of power but hell I mean you get some uh, solar panels going see there's no power flowing because it's nighttime let me turn it to daytime it should start running again there we go I mean you get two of these regular engines running off some solar or some wind power I mean it would it's gonna dig a quarry it's gonna dig a quarry pretty fucking fast you're probably gonna need something bigger than a what the hell was that? I just heard a noise. Uh, probably need something bigger than a bat box to store the energy in. But So I hope that helps. Uh, I think it was Ricardo was the, the name. If not, I'm sorry. You know who you are. You sent me the email. I sent you one back. Decided to make a special little episode where I look into this. But, uh, you know, I always, I always encourage you to go and find other sources as well. I do. I don't just go through one source for my information like the wiki page. I also go and watch, uh, you know, Duncan on uh, the Yogg's cast. Duncan, just search Duncan Tekkit, and he's a pretty good source of uh, Tekkit information and stuff. Help you get started. He shows you how to get started and everything. Really good source of it. Shin is another one. S J I N. He's another one. Um, there's just a whole bunch of people that do uh, these that that have been doing it for a lot longer than me. Uh, but for with me. The difference you get is that I'm learning as you learn. So we're helping each other out. As uh, opposed to these are like teachers teaching you how to do this stuff. I am a student learning with other students. So, But there you go. I hope that answered your question. I hope that actually you know helps out some of you other guys that are looking for, looking for some help in uh, figuring out the engines and things of that matter. Oh my goodness. I thought this thing was supposed to be bigger underneath. It's not. But that's going to do it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.